Bonjour à tous. Hey everybody. So today I went to Les Côtes de Moselle, which means the ladies' caves. Uh, de Moselle is a hard word to translate because it's basically some young girls because it's Mademoiselle and the article day and they just kind of smish it together. If you need more of a kind of understanding of it, there's a Picasso painting called the Demoiselle d'Avignon, I think. Fact checking right now, hang on. I was right, the Demoiselle d'Avignon. So, you can take a look at that and that's kind of what I'm talking about here, women. Why is it called that? Well, believe it or not, a sheep fell into the caves and the shepherd was trying to get it out. Also fell down the hole trying to get the dang sheep. What you doing, mate? And when he woke up after hitting his head on rock, um, he was so out of it, the pillars that had formed in the stalactites looked to him like women. And so they called it Les Grottes Demoiselles. And in this cave system, there are a ton of calcite formations that are so cool. And when they started properly exploring it, it became La Cathédrale Souterraine, which translates to the underground cathedral, which is awesome. They listed these rooms named after, uh, the biggest room in it is called La Cathédrale. And before that, there's like this really big cloak looking formation that's called Le Manteau de Roi, but now it kind of looks like a radiator instead. <laughs> but hey, either works. And then you see in La Cathedrale a formation that can be interpreted as the Virgin Mary with her son. So. It's really cool to see. Also, apparently it has great acoustics and they put concerts in there. They hold a midnight mass for Christmas. It's fantastic. And then there's the Salle à Manger, which is called that because when they were first exploring it, that was where everybody took a break to eat because after that it got in a little squeezy space and you can't fit your pack through there. So you ate first and only kept the wine in the backpack, apparently. <laughs> it's France. <laughs> I could have misinterpreted what the tourist said, and that was probably a joke, but <laughs> let's be real, who would be surprised? <laughs> and we talked about how there are different colorations on the rock now, black from um, basic human air, because it doesn't belong there. Moss because it's water and oxygen and bacteria and all that getting in there. I don't science, it's something like that. Google it. Then there's brown stuff which apparently comes from excrement from cave mice. Lovely, isn't it? Anyway, no, the black stuff is from the lights in there. The light kind of damages it and blah, yeah. yeah. Also, cave mites are now getting like endangered or something in that cave because uh, human interaction. I can't decide how I feel about that, but you know, I'll let you decide instead. <laughs> but it was really cool to see these caves because I don't know if this is well known or anything, but France is full of caves. Like this is France's kind of tourist thing. They have caveman caves, Chauvet, Lascaux, a few others, but Chauvet and Lascaux are the big ones for cave paintings. They're beautiful, by the way. Go see them. They're in Bordeaux. They're great. Um, and. Les Grottes de Demoiselle and Les Grottes Clamuse. Clamuse is in uh, Saint Guillaume le Désert, um, but we didn't go that far today. But they're very close together. 
very good things. You should go see them if you wind up in France. Uh, basically, this is what France has to offer are the caves. This is because people hear about the wine, they hear about the cheese, they hear about the beautiful countryside, and all those things are true. The wine is fabulous. The cheese is also great. I love Roquefort. I did not expect to, but it's great. Stinky, but great. And the countryside, of course. I was looking out the bus window going, yes, yes, yes. Because trees everywhere and mountains and... That is where I want to live. I want to live in the mountains. I want to live in a cave. The cave, of course, must have a Wi-Fi connection, a fridge, and suitable lighting, and I'd be happy. Y'all think I'm joking, but I'm totally not. <laughs> I would be very much happy with that. <laughs> Can't give up my internet connection. Can't give up food, but I would live in a cave, and it would be fabulous. Okay. But this is what the Côte Demoiselle is. It's a really cool one. I'm trying to keep some of the facts because this is all from the guided tour and y'all are going to take a guided tour when you get there. If you get there, you should get there. Get there. It's fun. If you can't get there, go to Kentucky. Mammoth Caves. Similar kind of thing. Uh, there's more variation in Mammoth Caves. Um, I will say that, but that's, I think, <laughs> well, Mammoth Cave is the longest stretch of a cave system there is in the entire world, so that's why. But Les Côtes de Moiselle is a beautiful place. If you like dark, quiet spaces like me, you will love it. And that's all I've got for you today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Au revoir à tous. Bye, everybody.